Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before we're here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the T-55E1 gun motor carriage. The T-55E1 was a prototype vehicle developed by the Allied Machinery Manufacturing Company in 1943 for the U.S. Army. An 8-wheel drive vehicle, the T-55E1 was armed with one 3-inch gun in a limited traverse mounting and a supporting 50 caliber machine gun. The vehicle here probably is most iconic from its recent appearance in the game War Thunder as part of a uh, battle pass or something of that sort. It's been a while since I've played War Thunder, um, but I do know that that it was kind of a meme vehicle that was in the game for a while, or still is in the game. Um, but yeah, really interesting and probably really one of the more unique vehicles we've done for at least the American World War II section of vehicles. Before we go and jump in and take a look here at the build, I do want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and do so earn via core request to your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It is really greatly appreciated. So uh, definitely feel free to check that out and uh, maybe get on in some of those cool benefits. But anyways, with that, let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look here at the T-55E1 and kind of going over the structure of it and basically what we have here laid out in the tutorial. So starting off, with, off we have the main gun here, which is a 3-inch gun. Um, you can see here the gun breach, all that stuff. It's a very limited uh, traverse designed to kind of be more of a take destroyer type vehicle. Um, it's very interesting. High mobility and uh, just a big gun on this chassis. You have the seats here for the um, co-driver, co -driver, which most likely would probably be uh, the gun operator or something of that sort, and then a driver position located here to the side. We have all the uh, details on the inside here, the seats here for the gunners, along with the ammunition rack and all that stuff. Uh, we have the wheels here, as I mentioned, it is an eight-wheeled vehicle, so uh, basically four-axled vehicle like so. Uh, the back here is just some simple detailing and all that stuff, and here's a look at the top-down view. Pretty straightforward vehicle, there really isn't a whole lot of really pr stuff out there for it. Um, really only War Thunder is the, one, the game that's actually implemented this type of vehicle. It's super interesting, it should make a fun um, design to add any into any of your maybe museums you might be making, or some prototype grounds, or just a fun little kind of, you know, post... Or not, I don't want to say post World War II, but maybe like a alternate, um, you know, kind of timeline or something like that. But pretty fun little vehicle. Should be a fun build. And without further ado, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, moving into our first layer, we go ahead and start with layer one. For layer one, go ahead and get started with here. We're to place down two polished blackstone stairs back to back, just like this. Followed by an air set of two polished blackstone stairs coming off that. So you have two uh, sets of two of upside down stairs, like so. We then want to take our stone top slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three stone top slabs across, then one, two, three iron trap doors, and then one, two, and three stone top slabs again. We're going to go then place down our two polished black stone stairs, sets of two, back to back, just like this to go ahead and make the bottom half there of our uh, front wheels there for the left side. So that right there is going to basically be this uh, front axle and wheel setup. At this point here, we're going to then skip a space of two, and we're going to go and set up our next wheel, which will be two polished black stone stairs back to back like so. A and R2 coming off those, like that, and then going over here, same thing, like this, polished black stone stairs back to back, like that. We're going to then take our stone top slabs, place down a row of three across, row of three of iron trap doors, and then a row of three of stone top slabs like that across, like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for layer uh, one there, pretty simple, straightforward layer. Looking at it from a top down view, this is what we should have with the layer complete. Though, uh, with that, that right there is going to conclude layer one, let's move on to layer number two. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our uh, next layer, we have uh, layer 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with here, we would go to each one of our polished black stone stairs, and we're just going to place down two stairs back to back on top of the two upside down polished black stone stairs like this, all the way around for all eight wheels, just like this. So pretty straightforward stuff here, nothing too complicated. And just like that, we should have all eight wheels done like so. At this point here, we're going to go and then uh, go to our front, we're going to place down a a uh, green terracotta block on top of that iron trap door, followed by a anvil to both sides like so. And we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak top slab coming off that green terracotta block, a stone brick wall to both sides, and we're going to then just place down a row of one and two dark oak top slabs going forward like so. At the this point, we're going to then go to this section here, we're going to place down a row of three 
the green terracotta across. And then after that, we're going to go then place down a second row of three. Or actually, sorry, no, my bad. It's going to be a row three of dark oak with top slabs. A second row three of dark oak with top slabs. And then a row three of green terracotta again going across. We're going to place down there a green terracotta block in the center. Anvil to both sides. A green or er, a dark oak top slab there in the or sorry, actually a green terracotta block in the center. A stone brick wall to both sides, and then a dark oak top slab, or a row three of dark oak top slabs like that across the back there. After we have that all done, done right there, that's going to pretty much complete our uh, layer number two there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now move into making the banner wheels there, which will kind of add a little bit more detail to our wheels and beef them up a little bit. So I'm going to go and grab the necessary materials to go ahead and make those banners, and I'll see you guys here in a sec to go ahead and cover how to make those banner wheels. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making these banner wheels, they're pretty straightforward to make. You're just going to need a loom, two black banners, two green dye, and four black dye. Now go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and place down our loom, we're going to go and take our black banners, put them into the loom, and our green dye. We're going to select the line over here on the left side of green dye, like so. And we want to go then take our other banner, and select the line on the right side, vertically, of our green dye. We should get two banners that look like this. Both these banners are going to be placed back into our looms, and we're going to go then take the black dye, and we're just going to do the line across the bottom of black dye, uh, the lower third, I should say, and then the top third, like that, splitting the banner like this, so you create basically... Uh, banner like this and then the same thing for this one across the top and across the bottom so you get two banners that look just like this these two banners here will just go ahead and go on the sides of the two polished black stone stairs up on top there and you want the green portion facing toward each other for both banners and it just kind of adds a little bit more detail to the wheels kind of makes them look a little bit more interesting to look at at least i think and uh, just i kind of encourage it um i think it looks pretty cool and is perfect for this type of vehicle. So that right there is pretty much it for that. Um, that right there will wrap up what we have there for layer two altogether. And with that, let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this dark oak top slab here in the front. Actually, my bad, it's going to be on top of this dark oak top slab. So uh, we shouldn't have two that stick out. It should be in line here with the stairs. So I don't know why there was three dark oak top slabs there, but there should only be two. Uh, so just make sure that is correct right there, and they should be in line here with this polished blackstone stair. So my apologies for that, just make sure you correct that right there. But we just have this one green terracotta block here, a mostly cobblestone wall to both sides, and we can also place our birchwood button there on the front there of that green terracotta block. After we have that done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to then place down a row of three across like this, and then to the sides, we're going to go and grab dark oak with trapdoors, and we're just going to place down one, two, and one, two dra dark oak with trapdoors there for the um, fenders. We're going to then take dark oak stairs and go back from the trap doors there. We're going to place down dark oak stairs and go all the way back to these dark oak top slabs. So in total we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Across the back we're going to place down green terracotta. Followed by ladders. Item frames on the sides of the stairs and apples in the item frames like so. We're going to go then take our green terracotta. Place down a narrow row of 3 across. And after we have that done, we want to go and then place down a kelp block here, and our kelp block going forward like so. Followed by again a green terracotta block to both sides like so. We then uh, can grab ourselves some birchwood stairs. We're going to place down a birchwood upside down stair here to both sides like that for the seats. And we're also going to go and place down a oakwood trapdoor on the side of this kelp block like so. Then uh, we can take green carpet and place down one, two one two and then one right here just to kind of keep a little bit more of a consistent green color for that section there uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block and then a dark oak wood trap door coming off the stair like this toward the back here we're going to go ahead and then lastly grab ourselves some cut sandstone slabs we're going to place down a cut sandstone slab on top of the anvils there and then a birch wood trap doors on the back here for the backing for that seat for or sorry for those seats and with that all complete there, that is basically all we have to do there for layer number three. Take a look at from the top down view, this is what it should look like. And with that, that will conclude layer three. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which will be layers four and five. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our final layers here, we have layers four through five. For these layers to get started with, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this one here. And we're going to then place down two dark oak top slabs that come off of it. So we're going to just go one, two. And on the sides of these dark oak wood top slabs, we want to go ahead and also place down dark oak wood signs. So we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs on the sides here of those top slabs. After that, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three dark oak wood top slabs forward. And on the very end here, we're going to place down a polished blackstone top slab like that for the gun. 
Taking our Dark Oka Trapdoor, we're going to place down a trapdoor on top of this green terracotta block and one on top of this Dark Oka top slab, followed by a row two of green carpet coming off that slab going forward. We're going to place down another green terracotta block here, going back from this one, and then a Dark Oka stair on top of this trapdoor like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a Dark Oka trapdoor coming off the uh, front here of the stair and also on top of the stair. And after we have that done, on the side of the green terracotta block, we're going to place down a uh, trip bar hook, just like this. And we then want to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to grab ourselves some light gray stainless paints. We're going to place down a light gray stainless paint here, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to the side, and then a narrow mossy cobblestone wall back. Over on the right side, it's just going to be one and two mossy cobblestone walls, and then one back, like so. After that, uh, we're going to go then place down a dark oak wood fence gate come off the side of this green terracotta block we're going to open it up toward the green terracotta block and then on top of it we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull here for the sights there for the gun and then at this point uh, on both sides here we're going to place down a green stained glass pane so just like this and we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door which will be coming off the pane so actually this trap door here will be deleted we're going to instead move it so it's against this glass pane like that on both sides there and a good alternative if you're on Java, we can place down an item frame on the side or on the front here of the stair, and then a green terracotta block, or sorry, green stained glass pane in the item frame, like so, to kind of create the side there for that gun. Um, if you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, you're not able to actually do this feature, so you may have to come up with some alternative to make the gun, the gun breach here, but um, if you're on Java, we can go and do that nice feature there. At this point, though, we want to go and then take our green carpets, and we're going to place down a row of three going back. One, two, three, and same thing over here. One, two, and three. We want to go and then place down dark oak trap doors on the first two glass panes, or on the sorry, the first two green carpets. And then right here, depending on what version of uh, Minecraft you're on, we're gonna go ahead and place down a birchwood trap door here on top of these seats if you're on Java. And we can go ahead and then place down an item frame and a green stained glass pane in the item frame like so. Now, if you're on Java, or sorry, not Java, if you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, you may have to go ahead and disregard the Birchwood trapdoor there for the back of the seat, and just place down a Dark Oku trapdoor like that for the siding there. But if you're on Java, we have the nice feature here of being able to place down a Birchwood trapdoor, item frame there, and a green stained glass paint in the item frame like that for the siding. At this point, we're going to go ahead and then place down two dried kelp blocks there in the center, and then we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls and place down two out to the sides there of that second block. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood, or sorry, just an oak wood trapdoor on the middle block like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down two green carpets going back like so. At this point here, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three across. Out to the sides, we're going to place down polished blackstone slabs. Going back from those wither skeleton skulls. And then just some dark oak wood signs on the sides there of those slabs. So you get something that looks like that. And the last thing for us to do here is the top detailing over the engine, which will very simply be two dark oak wood buttons, like so, and then two rails going like this on both sides there for the vents. And once you have that all complete there, that is basically it uh, for the T55E1. Uh, actually, sorry, one last thing, almost forgot, is if you're on, um, on the front here, we can place down item frames with snowballs in the item frames. And if you're on Java, we can go and place down a green carpet on top of this dark oak wood trap door. Um, but again, if you're on Pocket Edition or Bedrock, you're not able to place down the item frame and the carpet in the same block space. So you have to disregard the carpet there. Uh, but anyways, that right there is going to conclude my tutorial here for the T55E1 gun motor carriage. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do not use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a silent build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build you're free for projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys again so much for watching. A big special, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.